<laughs> Hi, welcome to the It's Raining Crafts podcast. My name is Raina, and today is Wednesday, December 23rd, 2015. Um, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I am busy getting ready for um, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve everywhere. If you celebrate, Merry Christmas. If you don't, Happy Holidays. Um, life has been busy and in the way of things the past since I last podcasted. Um, last night we went to, I went with my in-laws to um, Rocky Ridge State Park where they have like a, bit, a huge Christmas light display that you could walk through. That was very cool. I've never been there before. So, um, my sister-in-law picked me up, my sister-in-law and my nephew, and then I rode out with them and we met my mother-in-law and my son. And we, um, met a couple friends that were with us. So, um, anyway, that was nice. And tomorrow is it's Christmas Eve, so we're going, I'm going over to my in-laws again, and my, my futon is full of gifts. I have a little bag of stuff that I knitted for, um, everybody, but my mother has been shipping stuff here, so she doesn't, um, have to take it on the plane, so there's... Amazon boxes and there's Walgreens boxes. And it doesn't seem, it's not as bad as it seems, but um, I definitely have to move stuff around. So um, let's get into the knitting. So the first project that I finished were Natalie's socks that I told her that I would knit her for Christmas. So these are it. Sorry they're not on sock blockers. My my socks go my sock blockers go to my size and she has smaller feet than I do. So that she's a size seven and a half and I think I made them a full eight. So there's one. And here's here's the other. I forget which sock I I kept dropping stitches on. It was the second sock, but I don't know what the first sock from the second sock. So, um, when we go to Pittsburgh, if we go to Pittsburgh and I see her, I will give her these. And I have a couple other little things for her that I got that I found online. So, um, that she, yeah, no, I sent her a picture. Every time that um, I got one done, so she was, so she's seen them and she knows what they look like, and hopefully they fit her, <laughs> because I, I never made a smaller size. You know, I had to, I, I cast it on fewer stitches for her, and just knitting to the foot and. Usually when I do the first one, I take accurate notes so I can just pull up the when I'm on the second one. So, anyway, and the next one that I finished was for my Fiber Easter Club that my mom signed me up for after I came back from taking care of her in California. These are Spud and Chloe Fine Sock Yarn. It's... 20 silk and 80 merino and I just did a basic vanilla sock pattern I, I did eight rows two knit purl and then I did 20 I think I did 20 rows and then I divide for the heel flap so um I got my second yarn but you will see that later but um they're very comfortable but I have to wear shoes when I wear them around my house because they pick up their magnet for the cat fur. So, um, and the third one that I finished is not a sock. 
It is a bumble hat by Tin Can Knits. I used Red Heart Soft in the teal colorway. And then I used the chocolate brown. It's knit from the bottom up. And I really didn't want to do the decreases. I was confused by the decreases. So I was like, people aren't going to really see the decreases. Because I'm going to have a pom-pom on top of my hat. So I made a little pom-pom out of brown. And it's very cute. So it's all that I finished. And, um, yeah, so the next, um, I started this hat, I started the hat in October, and, um, then it was just sitting in a bag by the, in the, my, in the, my UFO box, and I was like, it needs to be done. I want a new hat, so I finished that one. And so, um, you see, today I'm wearing a banquet hat. I have, I already have a banquet hat. I think I have two. But I might want, I might just put a pom pom on this and and give it away because there's a little like. I really, I really am not good with um, decreasing on my hats to make sure that they're closed. So I'm probably going to add a pom pom, and I think it'll be cute. So don't take your hat off, Raina, because my friend, my friend Melissa, always tells me that I should be wearing hats with my podcast. Every time that I podcast, I should wear a different hat. So, today it's red because of Christmas. I was looking for my blue one, but I couldn't find it. So, anyway, why don't we get into my wicks? Sorry. So, the first one in my wicks is out of my sock box. My sock box, um... Chicken boots. I love chicken boots. I have I have way too many chicken boot bags now. So um, this is I did Natalie socks out of this yarn, but I made mine shorter because I got to. So here it is. It's um I did a two by two rib and then I did the texture and I completed I'm I'm up to I completed the gusset so now I gotta do the foot and the toe decreases. But that's one saw and um I'm doing these two at a time so I can knit so I can knit on one sock and then I go to the other sock like I do the cuff on one and then I go and do the cuff on the other so it breaks it up and so um yes I'm, I'm not going to pull out the other sock because it looks the exact same so um I've been doing that and I try, I try to work, you know, I have so many whips, sock whips, that I, um, try to pull one out a day. I'm like, okay, I look at my basket, I'm like, well, what am I going to work on? So, and then once I get to a point where I'm satisfied, on the sock, I, I go to another one. So, in my Erin Lane flower bag, um, I switched this from the Doctor Who bag because I'm only doing one sock right now. And this is for my mother-in-law. This is Plymouth Happy Feet 
in the colorway number 40. So I'm on the heel flap. I'm about halfway with the heel flap. And then she'll probably get these next month because I had a little flub with this. I was going to do them two at a time like I normally do. And I thought that I had... I had ordered a high, high needle a while ago, and um, so I'm like, oh, this size is one and a half, so I'll just um, order a second one so I could do it. So I was, so that came, and my and um. Then, so I did like, I, this is when I was working on the cuff. I did about eight rows in the cuff. And then I um, switched to the other one and then I was going to do eight rows. Well, while I was working on that one, I was like, this is weird. Because, I don't know, it, the needles felt different. And then I looked, then I pulled out the other... I pulled out the other ones. They were on two different size needles. So, um, I think the, the, um, one that I started working with is the double zero. Because they're like toothpicks. And, um, so I just was like, I made an executive decision. And I went with one and a half. Because I knew that I had one and a half um, DPNs when I went to um, flip, when I went, to, when I got to the heel flap. So, um, that was exciting when that happened. I caught, I texted my mother-in-law and I told her, well, I have to do your socks one at a time and this is why. And she's like, that's okay. She's like, take your time. The bigger size is better anyway. So I'm glad that I'm not, I'm not, I don't pressure myself to complete projects anymore. Um, because I realize that if I do that, then I get less excited about the project. And so anyway, um, in the next, bag I um oh I had a very successful craft show so I ordered um another sock box from chicken boots and in here is my um fiber iso club yarn that I got it's silver and it's gray and it looks very, very pretty. It almost reminds me of Christmas. I got one skein of it, so I, when when I got it, I split it into two 50 gram balls. And then um, the pattern that they called for, that they sent out, had cables in it. I really didn't want to do cables on my socks. I have experience doing cables. But not not in my socks. Not not right now. So I am doing the vanilla latte pattern by Virginia Rose Genies. This is um destination yarn in the Duomo colorway. She's a the, the card. I had the card in here. Let's see. They partnered with Destination Yarns out of Columbus, Ohio. She's a dyer. And she has some. Um, does kettle dyeing and hand painting is her fabulous colorways. So I like how this is turning out. I like how soft it is. I um, forgot that I was working on this today 
I try to break up my day. If I do a little bit of knitting and then I go and do a household task. So I go back and forth all day until until I have to leave until I have to go somewhere or it comes or the end of the day comes. So um and then another another um dyer that I ordered from was um Lisa of the 90% Knitting Podcast. She has the Fiber Knit Dye Works podcast. And I went on her site because I was like, I'm going to order me some nice sock yarn. Some sock yarn that I have not tried before. So I was on her site and I found... And I found her irreversible sock yarn, which is green and turquoise. And then the other one is turquoise and green. So I was very excited to get this yarn. And when I when I told my mother in law about it, I said to my I said to her, Graham is going to say, your socks are two different colors. So, like, so, like, we had a laugh about that because Graham is, um, very, um, matchy-matchy when it comes to stuff. She gets her hair done every week and her nails done every two weeks. And it was funny today because my husband texted me. And I asked where, where Cal was. And he said he went to go get his nails done. He had he told me he had to go get his nails done. So, he's five. He thinks that he's got to be everywhere. So, um, so that's all the yarn that I got. And my whips and my um I'm trying to roll this up so I can so I don't get it caught in a bag because when I do two two socks at a time because I don't have a project bag with a with a divider in it. I normally just stick them in Ziploc bags. I put one skein in one, and then I put one, the other skein in the other one, and I put it in the project bag with it. So, so other than that, I have not touched. I I have a few projects on the needles that I have not touched in a few weeks. I'm hoping that if we do go to Pittsburgh, I will take said projects that I haven't worked on in a long time and, and work on them in the car while my mother is driving and um, so we anyway I am going to close out for the year and I hope that you have a wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Boxing Day, Christmas, New Year's. So um, have a safe holiday and I will see you next year. Bye-bye.